Right then, we are back on the bank. You join me for a little bit of a Christmas special. I've been given a nod by the missus to come out and do two nights before Christmas. Well, actually, I'll be finishing on Christmas Day morning. Which is very cool. So she's been away for three and a half weeks, visiting family. She went to see her mum, her mum lives over there. And so uh, she got back and was very jet lagged. So said to me, go out fishing. I'm not gonna be the best company and see if you can get yourself a Christmas car. So I wasn't gonna dispute that and very quickly got the kit sorted and loaded into the van. Now I decided to come down to Acorn Fishery, just south of Bristol um, in the southwest of England. I've been here a few times in the past. I've done a few overnighters this year on here, which have not been productive. Um, I've actually blanked. But me and Hugh came here last year uh, for the Christmas video we put out on Christmas Day. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Christmas, Christmas vlog. vlog. We did a day session. I had a couple of doubles. Uh, Hugh blanked, unfortunately, but not really that surprising. That's what he's like. Uh, so um, yeah, I thought I'd come down and have another go. I got here, uh, what time is it? It was about half or quarter five, so it was dark by the time I got here. I had a little walk around and I saw one show in front of Swim 15, which is where I've decided to get in. Luckily, Swim 15 has actually got one of the huts, uh, the kind of fishing shed doodas, which is quite nice. Adds a bit of comfort to the uh, session, especially considering it's been quite wet and windy. It is quite nice. So yeah, I saw a fish show between um, the swim and the island. There's a little island to the left. So I saw a fish show just short of the island. So I clicked up one at four wraps, one at five and a half, which was just short of the island and put a little bit of bait over them. Nothing, nothing too much, just a little scattering about. I think I put four on one, eight on the other. Now I spoke to Mark Bartlett over the phone, who obviously owns and runs the place. He said to me that at this time of year, they don't mind what bait you use, they're a bit more lenient. Normally it's a boily, oily water, and you can also use the house pellet and maize mix. But this time of year, he said they're a little bit more lenient, bites are a little bit harder to come by, so just as long as you use common sense, they don't mind if you use your normal sort of mix. So I've brought my normal mix with me, which is basically eight mil, 12 mil, SL, K and S7. I've got some boily crumb, uh, some small mini two mil crayfish mix pellets, and I also put a uh, load of liquid attractors in there, uh, mostly the um, K-Stim, uh, which I've been really liking le recently. Uh, but I put a few in there um, just to add some flavor signals into the water column. And I've also got a few maggots. He said I could use a bit of maggot for one or two, just as I didn't absolutely fill it in. And I've, I bought a couple of pints with me, basically just to use in some mesh bags on the hook. So yeah, I sent out the rods, um, I was fishing by about six o'clock. I had um, a couple of Ronnies out and one on a little wafter bait on the bottom. And yeah, I uh, set about having a bit of food, chilling out. Um, I bought some very carpy, Christmassy food. I bought some pigs in blankets, mince pies, some Baileys, cream. So I, I had a very nice bit of food. And um, I even bought myself some fake Baileys I got from Audi, which was nice. I had some Baileys coffees. So yeah, I had a very nice evening. Um, got in a bag about 12 and I got woke up at half three. So I actually had one. Um, very, very happy um, Christmas Eve carp. It was just over 21 at 21.4, so I was very happy with that. I uh, got the rod back out, I put a little bit more bait on it. And uh, yeah, I went, went back in a bag open for another one. So um, I've got up this morning. I've yet to have anything, but hopefully it goes rattling off. I'm very confident the weather's looking really good for it. I believe there's been quite a few out recently, so I am quite confident of having a few. So we'll see how the day goes. Hopefully we can have another one, and hopefully tomorrow I can have one, because it'd be great to have a Christmas car. But anyway, I'm going to get the kettle on, uh, have a coffee, and uh, sit back, wash the water, see if I can see anything, and hopefully shortly we'll have something else to show you. Well, would you believe it? But um, I had that one early this morning. Um, it's just gone uh, half nine, I think, and I've had another one. Um, not as big as the last one, um, it's a low double, common, but uh, cracking fish, put up a wicked fight as well. Um, I had it on the middle rod, so I've had a fish off of uh, two spots now, which is cool. 
Um, it's pretty windy out here, so I don't know what the audio is like. You probably can't actually hear me very well. But um, yeah, I'm well chuffed. So I've just topped the spots up with a bit more bait. And um, it looks like we're going to have a bit of rain now. It's starting to drizzle. So I'm going to go get in the hut and get out the weather. And um, yeah, hopefully we can have a few more today. So fingers crossed it, uh, it comes good. But I'll show you the rigs and the bait and everything that I've been using in a bit. And um, go over all that stuff. But um, happy days. Two fish under the belt on Christmas Eve. What we need now is a Christmas carp. Is it too much to ask? Who knows, but let's hope it happens. Right, there's fish number two then. Absolute block of ice. Not a big one, might just make double figures, but it's bloody lively. This was on a little um, yellow PB wafter and a bunch of maggots. As you can see, I think he might be uh, an angry old male. But uh, nice to get another one. Let's hope there's a few more to come. Right, well I've uh, just put out two rods after having a recast and before I put the third one out, I thought I'd quickly show the rigs I'm using. Now, originally um, I was using slightly different rigs on all three. Um, or I was using two rollies and one um, wafter bait um, on a short braided hook length. Um, I actually didn't get great hook hold on the wafter. I caught the smaller fish in the wafter and the hook hold wasn't as good as normally I normally get. So because the Ronnie um, absolutely nailed the fish that I caught, um, really, really good hook hold, um, I decided to switch more to Ronnie's because clearly that obviously worked well. So um, the setup though, um, very simple. You've probably seen this loads of times. I got maybe two foot, foot and a half of um, lead free leader. That's through to a leg clip. This is one they call the hybrids. I absolutely love these. They're so simple, do the job. So they're, yeah, they're absolutely spot on. That then goes through to the hook length, which is some um, ESP tungsten loaded. Um, love the hook length, been using it since it's come out and it's my go-to hook length. As you can see there, it's, it's pretty stiff, um, but it has got enough suppleness that if it does sort of get caught on anything on the bottom, it isn't gonna sort of poke up and look ridiculous. It should still settle reasonably well. Um, down to the Ronnie section, obviously you've got your quick chain swivel onto a size four, and that is a ESP Fragen gripper in the barbless. Got to use barbless hooks on here, that is the rules. I've got a little ring swivel, um, well ring screw I should say, um, on the hook, which is what I screw my bait directly onto, and I'm using a 12mm, uh, and these are actually custom baits these, these um, are baits I've made myself, so it's the PB um, flavour signals, um, but I've actually made them myself out of a really buoyant mix so that I can balance the Ronnie perfectly and um, they're a little bit more washed out as well so they don't look so obvious. And um, that is the setup. Um, I would say um, I've got three and a half ounce lead. Now on one of the rods I'm only going for four wraps so I definitely don't need it to hit the range. Um, but what I like to do is always balance the lead to the hook. So I'm using a size four hook. Um, size four hooks obviously are quite thick wire. So because of that, I always make sure I've got at least three, if not three and a half ounce lead, um, just to make sure that it pulls that heavier gauge wire into the fish's mouth and you get a decent hook hold. I have in the past used lighter leads of say two ounce on smaller venues and I've dropped fish off because I don't think the hook has enough weight to be pulled in to get that initial good hook hold. So I always use a decent sized lead with a big hook. So a bit of food for thought if you're using that sort of thing, then make sure you always balance your lead to your hook size. Anyway, that's the setup. All I'm doing with that is very simply, down here, Blue Peter style, one I made earlier, just got a little mesh bag of maggots. And this time of year, you are, using, you are allowed to use a, a limited quantity of maggots on here. And all I do is leave a little tag on the end. And then all I do with that then is to nick that onto the hook and just send that out to the pond. Stops any tangles. Not like this tends to tangle to be honest, but it also just adds a little bit of attraction around the hook bait for the uh, fish to home in on. So that is the setup. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get it back out on the spot and hopefully we can have another one.
right evening then. So, um, it's been a bit of a quiet day and afternoon really. Um, nothing's really happened much since that fish this morning. Um, I did have another bite, unfortunately it dropped off. Um, left hand rod pulled up tight, picked the rod up. I thought it tapped tap where someone was obviously shaking its head and then it just fell slack. Clearly it's picked it up, it's shaking its head and the barbless hooks just come flying out. A um, little bit gutting, but it, it happens with barbless hooks. It's just the nature of the beast, really. So what can you do? But um, I've um, I topped the spots up after hearing a fish show down to my left. So I thought I'd put a bit of extra scent out in the water, a bit more food, hopefully try and draw them in. So I put a couple more spots over each, each rod. Uh, the right rod I actually repositioned to a new area. I noticed in the daytime that a lot of the ducks and the bird life were all to my right um, on the bigger island, um, basically in the sheltered area of the island from the wind. It was quite flat out there and I imagine it was a bit warmer, which is probably why they were there. They tend to search out the warmer zones. So it looked like a good area for, for a rod and there's a bit of an overhanging tree as well. So I decided to put a rod across to there and just put a little bit of bait with a spot out that way as well. So you never know, it might work, it might come good, but it's just some some said to me, you know, try rod over there. It looked it looked good. The birds were probably comfortable and sometimes where the birds are can also be where the fish are. You know, they're both animals and fill the conditions in quite a similar way. So um you never know, it might pay off. Um other than that, no, nothing else has really happened. Um I've just been absolutely blasting through Bailey's coffees. Um, I've sunk way too many mince pies than I probably should, but um, it's Christmas in it, so, you know, whatever. Um, and I've been sat behind this bad boy. Here's my little office, a couple of Ridge Monkey buckets, the uh, MacBook Pro got set up there, and um, I've got it charging on the awesome Ridge Monkey Power Pack. That is the large Ridge Monkey Power Pack. I've had it plugged in for probably six hours continuously and it's only lost one bar. So I'm charging a MacBook Pro. I've got an external hard drive which is powered off of the laptop. And I also charge my phone up as well from 20% to full. And it's only lost one bar of power. It's a fantastic bit of kit. I really do recommend it. Obviously I'm not sponsored by Ridge Monkey. I bought it out of my own hard money and it was a bit of an investment. It's nearly 200 quid. Um, but it's a fantastic bit of kit. I've probably had it over 12 months. Um, I absolutely love the thing. I bring it with me pretty much all the time. It goes in all my camera kit and all the batteries and everything. And yeah, it's a fantastic bit of kit. I really do recommend it. If you're like me, you do some editing or if you work off of a laptop and you want to get out fishing, it's a brilliant way to charge up your laptop. So yeah, go and check them out. Um, other than that though, not much else has really happened. So hopefully, Something happens tonight and um, we get lucky, but um, you never know. Um, yeah, what can I what can I say? Nothing else to really tell you about. Hopefully when the rods goes flying off at some point in the night. I mean, I had that fish at about half three and the other one at half nine, so I've still got the bite time potentially to come. Um, I just hope it does happen and I get a Christmas Day fish, but um, if nothing happens in the night, or obviously give you an update in the morning. So until then, um, I'm probably going to wait till Christmas Day, so give it another hour before I get in the bag. But um, yeah, I'll be shortly getting in the bag and um, going to bed. So we'll see what the night brings, I guess. All right, morning. So, I've just, well, I haven't been up for long. As you can see, the sun is absolutely blaring into my face. I'm using the foam to do this, as um, I've kind of pretty much packed everything away. I've uh, got the rods out, got a little bit to do, but um, it's been bloody cold this morning. Yesterday it was nine degrees. Today it's um, two degrees. I just put my Christmas hat on, as it's now Christmas Day, and yes, I'm smiling. I can't believe it, the middle rod has just pulled up and gone ripping off, and I've got one in the net. I can't believe it, Christmas Day car, it ain't big, but I'm absolutely chuffed. Can't believe it. it looked, literally, it, it didn't really look like it was gonna happen. It's flat calm, really sunny, really crap conditions, to be honest, and, Clearly Santa thought I was a good lad this year 
and the middle rods come blasting off and uh, we've got one in the net, absolutely chuffed. So uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, finish off my coffee, get her out for the camera and then I'll be pa packing down and going home to see the missus. So what a wicked start to the day. Oh dear, absolutely buzzing. Right, Merry Christmas everyone. It is Christmas morning, the 25th of December, and would you believe when the rods has gone off, the middle rod, out on the end of the island, and uh, we've got ourselves a Christmas cart. It's come on the Ronnie, just with a white S7 pop-up. It's only a little one, but what a wicked fish. I'd literally just put the Santa hat on, and the Robin absolutely ripping off. So I'm chuffed with that. But I've got the marching orders already from the missus to get home. So um, I'm gonna dedicate this one to her. And she gave me the nod to come out, which was quite surprising. I'm not gonna lie, two nights on the bank, finishing Christmas morning, you can't complain. But I gotta get home, go home and have a Christmas dinner, spend some time with her and the family, and uh, yeah, hopefully have a nice couple of days at home. So I'm absolutely chuffed fantastic way to round off the year I don't know if I'll be back at the bank now until the new year but I'm really really happy with that so I've had a 21 and a couple of low double commons so really really chuffed so anyway we'll get this guy back to everyone watching this I hope you had a wicked Christmas have a fantastic new year and thanks so much for following us subscribing to the channel um, we do really appreciate your support and um, we've gone over the 3,000 mark as well now on the subscriber count, which was the goal for this year. So um, I'm absolutely chuffed. So anyway, let's slip this guy back and uh, I'll be heading home for some Christmas dinner. So it's goodbye for me, goodbye from him. All the best for the new year. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a Happy New Year.